Hey guys, Deju22 here, and welcome to our main event. Oh yeah, and this main event is brought to you by MuchGames.ca. Now, as far as this main event is concerned, there are no championships involved. In fact, it's just a lot of grudges. As we begin this matchup between uh, Triple H and Brock Lesnar, the uh, thing about this match is that uh, these two have no love loss for each other. Uh, this is just going to be... I mean, there are three ways you can win. Pinfall, submission, or by first blood. There are no disqualifications, no count outs, but falls do not count anywhere. In fact, the only falls that do count anywhere are first blood. But everything else, pinfall or submission, count in the ring. And a DDT on a Brock Lesnar. So yeah, we saw Triple H's wife, Stephanie, in the ring. Now we get to see Triple H himself. And of course we know the problems that these two have had in real life. I mean, come on. They have no love loss. I, like I said, they have no love loss for each other. Uh, it all started uh, in the summer of last year. And... You know, Brock, I mean, it, it started out as a money issue, but then it just became very personal. As these two men are going to beat the crap out of each other before this night is through. A suplex on to Triple H. Now, oh, and another thing I should mention is that Lesnar, in ter as far as the series is concerned between these two, the series is in the favor of Lesnar 1-0, even though they had one match before, but it ended in a in a time limit draw, which made it null and void. So for for so for Lesnar, if he wins, the feud is over, and Lesnar proves himself to be the dominant athlete or the supreme athlete. But if Triple H wins, then the feud continues. Then a clothesline right to Triple H again, or actually that's his first one. Sorry. A reversal by Brock Lesnar. An arm breaker using the shoulder. Then a gut buster onto the game. And another shoulder arm breaker again. Belly to belly suplex on a Triple H. I mean, how many? There's not very many guys that can do that to Triple H. I mean, Triple H is he, he's pretty damn big. I mean, he, he's a pretty big guy, you know. Uh, but thing is, Brock Lesnar is even bigger, so that tells you how big he is. Whipped into the corner. And a neck breaker to Brock Lesnar. So yeah, I mean, this match is worthy of main event status. I mean, just because of the hatred that these two have. In fact, it even parlays in, the, in, in this alternate universe that we call real life, you know. But let's just get on with this matchup, you know. Anyways. A back suplex to Triple H. Elbow right to the head. Then a knee right to the head of Brock Lesnar. Now he picks up Brock Lesnar and delivers a couple of big blows to him, including one that sent him over the top rope and onto the floor. Now remember, there are no countouts, so these guys can be outside as much as they like. And Triple H just takes down the announce table. But a counter by Brock Lesnar with that belly to belly suplex. Then another, then a clothesline right to Triple H to follow it up.
and Triple H suplex onto the floor onto Brock Lesnar and Brock a belly to belly suplex I mean there's there's some chairs there so they, they can use some weapons if they wish whipped into the post and Triple H I'm not sure what he was doing but now Triple H what's he doing here Triple H, what's he doing? Oh no, he's gonna set up the table. Uh oh, this is not good. Oh, no way! A pedigree through the table, my god! And wait a minute, the referee's calling for the bell for what? Oh no, wait a minute, Triple H won. Triple H won by first blood. And that pedigree through the table busted him open. So Triple H, as a result of that, ties the series and the series between them, as well as, or should I say the feud between them, sorry, continues. But my God, that was an epic pedigree right through the announce table. And Brock Lesnar trying to get up. But he, not even uh, the Beast Incarnate couldn't get up from that. I mean, seriously, how the hell do you get up from a pedigree, let alone get busted open in the process? You don't. But that was an epic match for what it was. But folks, stay tuned. Um, we'll have one more show, which is the interdimensional show, which is what I'm hosting. I'll host that, and then after that, we'll get ready for our first Super Show, albeit back in 1998, so uh, other than that uh, stay tuned for the next show as well as the Super Show next time on Let's Play WWE 13 this is your host, Taju22, signing off have a great day everybody